as usual, I remain Miss Ruth Nantesa. I'm here for English, and this time round, we are going to look at animals. I expect you to listen, speak where you need be, another thing. Read so that you can understand, and eventually, you will be able to write. What are we going to see under the animals? First of all, we are going to look at animals and their young ones. That's when we are going to look at the parents and their children. So, animals and their young ones. So, here we are. We should be able to identify the young ones of different animals. Secondly, we should be able to read and spell the words correctly. So, I call upon your attention so that you can be able to pronounce the words correctly. Mm. So here we are, animals and their young ones. I'm talking about the parents. As you, you have a parent and there is a name we give to the young one of your parents. You are a child, not so? So this is really fun. Let's start with a goat. The young one of a goat is called a kid. Did you know that? Many of you keep goats at home. So their young ones are kids. We have the cow, elephant, buffalo, and the antelope. When it comes to these four, their young ones are called calves. If there are many, if it is one, it is a calf. So they share the name. But the appearance is different, definitely. It is the name that remains the same. When it comes to a pig, piglet, sheep, lamb. Look attentively and listen attentively because you have to master the pronunciation and the spellings. When it comes to man and a monkey, they have a baby. Wow, that's great. So. The little ones you have at home, they are babies. Or if it is one, it's a baby. Here we are. We have a fish that we normally eat. We enjoy fish. So the young one of the fish is called a fry. Wow. The spelling resembles that one for cooking. When you are frying something, the same spelling, but there are different meanings. When it comes to a frog, it's a tadpole. Everybody said tadpole. Wow. When it comes to a kangaroo, it has joy. Check on the spelling. It is J-O-E-Y. Joy. When it comes to the owl, it has the owlet. Wow. I love that. When it comes to the bear, lion, hyena, cheetah, they also share. They have a cub. Everybody say cub. Wow, it has been really great. Let's proceed. We have the horse and the donkey. What's their young one? How is their young one called? It is called a fall. Wow, a fall. When it comes to the grasshopper, I know many of you enjoy the grasshoppers. Even me, the speaker, and the cockroach, they have a nif. Everybody say nif. So when you see them around the house, don't say, Mommy, I've seen a young cockroach, a tiny cockroach. Say, Mommy, I've seen a leaf. Mommy will be proud of you. So we have a deer, it's a fowl. A dog, puppy. Bird, nestling. Goose, gosling. Eagle, eaglet. Duck, duckling. Hen, chick. Many of you have chicks at home. Uh, we have a bee and the wasp. They also share. They have a grub. When it comes to the butterfly, the young one is a caterpillar. Uh, many of you have ever come across the caterpillars and you fear them so much. They are scaring. Uh, housefly, maggots. We know, you know very well where you find the maggots. In toilets. And they don't look good. Wherever you see them, know that there is something wrong. There is something rotten or there is something that is not clean. Oh, it's unclean. Uh, we have the mosquito. It has the wiggler. The hair rivets. Wow. 
have you mastered the, the animals and their young ones? Can you now tell the young ones of different animals? You can also teach others that didn't know the young ones of different animals or many of you had mistaken them. So I think you can now tell the young ones of different animals. So as we conclude this lesson, we need to do some exercise under the animals and their young ones. Enjoy the exercise because it will help you recall and master more the animals and their young ones. Thanks for being good listeners. See you in the next lesson.